Hi, welcome to Ricardo's Kitchen. Cucina rustica. Together, we're gonna be cooking the healthiest, tastiest, and truly amazing dishes from all corners of Sicily. So come and join us. The dish I'm about to make today is a, a famous dish where I grew up as a kid in Sicily. It is called pasta alla trapanese. Now, the reason why I say it's pasta alla trapanese is because Trapani is a small town in the west coast of Sicily. And this is where the names come from. Also, I say pasta is because you can use any type of pasta, any shapes and sizes. Some people prefer rigatoni, spaghetti, tagliatelle, penne, and so on. So, are we ready? Andiamo, via! Let's start first. We get the garlic. Now, it's very important by when you peel the garlic, obviously. I believe people say to me over the years I've worked as a chef, people say to me, well, garlic gives me indigestion. Yes, it does, if you don't peel the garlic properly. What I mean by that is, see, you cut the garlic in half, okay? And you, you have to remove the root that is in between the garlic. This is actually what causes indigestion. So by removing the root here, as you can see, easily done, as you can see. See, it's there. There's a root there that's been removed. The next thing we're gonna be chopping is the beautiful, tasty cherry tomatoes. If we put the garlic to one side, so, and here are the cherry tomatoes. Now, cut the cherry tomatoes like this, not too small. I just put a generous portion, as you can see. I love basil. There we go. This is enough for two, as you can see. One last ingredient, which I like to add myself, it's artichokes. As you can see, it's just, just normal artichokes that you buy from any supermarket anyway. So uh, fresh in brine, still has that goodness to the actual artichokes. Now we just, what we do is we just put everything in the saucer here. Um, you can use the knife like I do. Wow. Now, what we're gonna be adding on here is the, the very tasty extra virgin olive oil. Now, don't be shy with olive oil, because olive oil is good for you. Growing up in Sicily, when my grandmother used to make this dish, now, remember I was probably about four or five years old, and I thought, nana, nana, what is it? Oh, this is heaven. And she was true, it is heaven. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter which pasta you do use. People have different, shall we say, taste to different shapes and sizes of pasta. I like rigatoni. It's my, it's growing up in Sicily reminds me again of the cucina rustica that my family used to make. Now, while the pasta is boiling, it's very important to stir, not obviously all the time, every 15 seconds, until it actually has reached the softness of the pasta, you know? Once the pasta is being stirred three, four times, then it's fine. You can leave it for roughly seven to eight minutes if you want it al dente, um, not too uh, al dente, but uh, yeah, so it's uh, the best way to cook it. Seven to eight minutes and the pasta should be ready. 
I will place the pasta drainer on top, as you can see, so quite easily. You just place it on top of there, you know, and then together I will lift together and here we go. So very quickly, there you go, you see? Oh, there you go. One goldfish escaped there. There we go, easy. Like I said, I love a good, generous portion of pasta. So, I mean, we've, as you can see, it's already been marinated. Without realizing, is everything's combining. The basil, the cherry tomatoes, the fresh garlic. Oh, and then to top it all off, the parmigiano reggiano. I mean, you cannot get any more cucina rustica than this beautiful dish. Oh, you just place it on the pasta, as you can see. Mmm. As you can see, the beautiful garlic and the basil. Amazing. Sunshine on the plate, they say. The Mediterranean sun on the plate. We call it the cherry on the cake. Parmigiano Reggiano. Two beautiful teaspoon of Parmigiano Reggiano. And we have the beautiful artichokes, like I said before. Maybe I would say about maybe, oh, that's, a, that's called runaway artichokes. As you can see, um, I would say three pieces, maybe four, entirely up to you. And here we have, here we go. The beautiful spaghetti or tagliatelle or penne, in this case, rigatoni. Trapanese. Grazie e benvenuti a Cucina Rustica at Ricardo's Kitchen. See you next time. Do not forget to follow us on our social media channels. Cucina Rustica, ciao e arrivederci.